Welcome to the 5 to Go show. The weekly Walk Ahead Academy broadcast. With five minutes to go before the weekend starts. Let's recall all the events at the Academy this week. And share news and views for the next. My name is Naima. And I'm Sam. On this week's show, we go behind the scenes of the 5 to Go show. We take a look at Don't Feed the Animals in rehearsal. Where did our old uniforms go? We take a look, and finally, the paws. But first of all, let's go behind the scenes of our exciting new TV show. A crack team of talented students with an interest in media come together to create the show. This all takes place using our purpose-built TV studio. It all starts on a Monday morning. The editorial team receives the stories to be developed for the show. These are then researched and the script is written. The presenters then have the rest of the day to rehearse it. On the Tuesday, the studio production team assemble and record using our green screen. The camera is set up carefully so that the perspective matches our digital studio exactly. The green screen allows us to superimpose any background. We could just as easily be in the desert or even out of space. Our editors work hard on a Wednesday evening to put together the first rough cut. This is then approved by the editor-in-chief. The compositing team then remove the green background and composite the digital studio. After the overwhelming success of the Blood and Passion production, younger thespians are treading the boards in the new comedy, Don't Feed the Animals. The Fire to Go team are lucky enough to get a backstage pass. Hi, I'm Hassan, and I'm here backstage to rehearsals for the next school production. Let's be some of the cast. Who are you, and what character do you play? Hi, I'm James, and I play Pip, a depressed clown. Hi, I'm Adina, and I play Chloe, a bored teenager. Hi, I'm Ryan, and I play Zach, a circus kid. Hello, my name is Asia. I'm playing Tinkerbell in the play She's an Acrobat. It's about a group of kids who've got nothing to do and nowhere to go that help a circus that's in a lot of trouble. We've had to sell all their animals, including Tiny the Elephant. So, can I have a sneak preview? Yeah, but you're going to have to get out of the way. So there we have it, students in training for this wild circus show, don't miss it, be there. You may remember a while back handling in your old school uniform while collecting your new one, so just whatever happened to it. The 5 to Go show has invited Mr Oliver to the studio to come and explain. The uniforms have gone to the Kampala Children's Centre in Uganda. It is a landlocked country in East Africa that historically had civil wars and economic disasters, but is now relatively peaceful. At the children's centre, orphan children live in houses with house mothers. They are encouraged to live like a family. At the centre, there's a school. This is where the uniforms have gone. And now for our final feature. The academy can be such a busy place with the things we do. Sometimes we need to stop and reflect on the world around us. Sometimes we just need to pause. A shamrock, a thistle, a rose, and a daffodil. I guess you know what they have in common? Well, today is the 1st of March, and that is St. David's Day. If you know anybody who's Welsh in the Academy, this is their special day. Now you know, of course, that the Welsh aren't the most important nation in the world. The Irish are. And me being Irish, I know when St. Patrick's Day is. It's the 17th of March every year. And St. Patrick is the patron saint of Ireland. The Scots in our staff and in our student bodies will know that St. Andrew's Day is the 30th of November. The biggest number of people I guess we've got are people who will say they're English. So, who's your patron saint? And when is 
the patron saint of England's special day. In all of my time teaching in schools, this is the question that nobody's been able to answer. The Irish know, the Scots know, the Welsh know, but the English don't know that St George's Day is... Do you know? April the 23rd. So, the Irish are proud. Shamrock, that's our national um, emblem. And you'll see it on the shirts of our rugby team, our football team, the Shamrock. In Scotland, you have the saltire. The flag is a white cross. It's not the tr traditional cross, it's a diagonal cross. And that's because tradition tells us that Andrew, a Christian saint, one of the disciples, one of the fishermen who followed Jesus Christ, he was actually killed and murdered on a cross, but not a cross like Christ, but on a diagonal cross. And that's why we have the St. Andrew's flag. David was Welsh. Patrick was actually Scottish, but he went to Ireland. Andrew was actually Jewish. So why Scotland took him, I don't know. And as for St. George, your St. George, I think, if I'm speaking to most of you, your St. George, well, he was Greek. These men that people have chosen to be their heroes, that doesn't really matter to me. I might take them as an example and as an inspiration. But what matters more for us is what I'm like. Is my character worthy of applause? Is my character worthy of my children looking up to me? Of you looking up to me? And when you behave around school, or outside of school, in the street, or at home, do you think your parents and your friends look to you and say, he's a good man, he's a good, she's a good young woman. So, whoever our patron saint, today St David's, what are we like as characters? That's what matters. Have a good weekend. Thank you, Mr McCoy. Finally, what to look out for next week. Tickets go on sale at the house office for the school production, Don't Feed the Animals. Adults £2 and concessions £1. Up and coming house events are triathlon and swimming. Check out the murder scene in the gallery. The only question is, who in the science department done it? That's all from us. Thanks for watching. It's zero to go from the five to go show. <laughs>